Later here on Money Mondays, Rob Wilson. And Rob works primarily with professional athletes, helping them invest and grow their money. Thanks for joining us, both of you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. So, Darnell, welcome home. It's good to be back. Yeah, tell everyone a little bit about where you grew up and your connections here. Um, well, I grew up in the Hill District, uh, Elmore Square. Live right next to um, another, you know, really good player, um, Major Harris. Uh, you know, throughout my lifetime, me and Rob went to high school together. He was a class president, you know, at the time. <laughs> you know, uh, this is about you, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> and, um, you know, through the journey, I attended the University of Pittsburgh, I went on to um, uh, play with the New York Giants, the Cleveland Browns, <laughs> the Baltimore Ravens, and now the world champion, uh, New Orleans Saints. So it's been a, you know, nice long ride, and I just, you know, thank God that he, you know, sustained me the whole time. Oh, that's exciting. So I was going to ask how you two met, but high school, it sounds like. High school, yeah. 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 And we went to Pitt together, too, yeah. so we've got a long history. Yeah. Tell me why it's important for, especially professional athletes, to think about how they're investing their money. I mean, some people might think, oh my gosh, they have so much, why worry? Yeah, I mean, people think that pro athletes live this sort of shelter life and everything yeah. but when you really look at it I mean they go through the same trials and tribulations as we do and when you think about NFL players I mean their average career is three and a half years and, wow. and Darnell's been uh, you know fortunate to play nine years uh, now in the <coughs> NFL and a lot of guys don't even see that amount so you've really got to plan and figure out how you're going to maximize that opportunity over a short amount of time. Darnell, is trust a big part of it, too, when it comes to money? Trust is a big part, but I think as an athlete, what you got to understand is that nobody's going to take care of your money the way you would. So even though you have an advisor, you have to be on top of it mm. yourself. And ever since I've gotten to the NFL, the first thing I want to do is solidify things as far as my business or be able to maintain the way of living that I have. So um, mm. I started... Um, a real estate investing company where I purchased foreclosures here in the Pittsburgh area. Nice. I started, I mean, I'm um, co couple co-owners started TFT Lending, which is um, a hard money lending group that we got. Then um, when I was in Cleveland, I uh, started, uh, me and my family started um, Bound City, an indoor inflatable playhouse, which is like a Chuck E. Cheese type place. So, oh. you know, I believe in being diversified in whatever you do, and it, mm -hmm. it creates a good portfolio. And just like on the football field, the more you can do, my coach told me, if you're one-trick pony, you better be good at that one trick. So I figured that if I want to be able to continue to be successful in the finance area, then I need to be diversified. Well, you sound like you, you're just so diversified in life. I mean, really, your interests and, you, and all of that. How, what would you say to people who look at you as a professional athlete and successful in so many areas, how you make that transition from Shenley High School, you know, everyday Joe, to, to where you are? I think a lot of kids got to understand the process. You know, myself, Rob, even you didn't get here by waking up one morning and it just happened. And, mm -hmm. You know, when you become a professional athlete, there's a lot of days that people don't see as far as waking up in the morning, um, lifting on weights, you know, late at night, you know, running, you know, and maintaining this lifestyle that, you know, I, during the off season, I wanted to be better than the next guy, the James Harrisons who's out there lifting weights every day. So, you know, we have to enjoy the process, you know, the hard work that it's going to take to get to the next level. Because a lot of kids nowadays just think that, you know, I could just watch TV or play a video game. It's going to instantaneously happen, and it's not. Mm -hmm. Rob, you work with a lot of professional athletes. Do you see any commonalities? among you know certain traits or what it is that's making them so successful yeah I think it's just drive and determination mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me you know Darnell didn't mention this but he actually played semi pro uh, football before he made it to the NFL and I just think what separates successful people from those that aren't as successful is the ability to stick with it when it seems like you're not really going anywhere mm -hmm. and to do the work when nobody's looking and that's mm -hmm. what's most important that's a good point yeah. now do the same principles apply in terms of investing for someone like darnell and for just you know your average joe out there i think when you get down to the fundamentals of it obviously mm -hmm. that this the same principles um apply now if you have a regular job of course your lifespan is going to be a little bit longer mm -hmm. but you still want to stay save you still want to control that spending and uh but you've got to think about your investments and 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 what is your overall goal at the end of the day that you're trying to accomplish? Yeah, yeah, so the time frame might be different based on the fact that you have a limited time period in your career, yeah. in football career at least. Yes. Yeah. Without a doubt. And I think you have to really, you know, as an athlete, like I said, be mindful of that. You know, you read these horror stories about guys who've made over $100 million uh, and become bankrupt yeah. because. I think at the end of the day, you have to try to maintain as normal lifestyle as you can. You can't you know, go out and splurge, and if you do, you need to understand the repercussions of that. And I and I think that's the the one of the things I try to you know tell kids is that mm -hmm. like in First James in the Bible say, consider joy the various trials of life, for when your faith is tested, it produces patience. And what that's saying to me is that you know there's going to be a lot of adversity, there's going to be a lot of things that hit. Everybody's going to be pulling on you, 
But, you know, when you start, you know, encountering that adversity and learn how to deal with it, you can become, you know, successful in every area, whether it's finances or your profession or just your family. Yeah. Great advice, Darnell. Okay, I want you to tell us about sure. your March Madness game. This yeah, so, so along the lines of using sports to teach, you know, the masses about um, – finance and investing. I did want to announce today that I'm launching what I'm calling the March Money Madness uh, Bracket Challenge. So if you've ever filled out a bracket around a uh, NCAA college basketball uh -huh. tournament, this is the same, but instead of picking winners of basketball games, you're going to pick the winners uh, of a game between two stocks. Cool. And the game will be one week in the actual market, and whichever stock goes up uh, the most during that week wins the game so on and so forth till we get a champion so I think that's a fun way for people to get involved with something that they're already doing yeah. spending time with but you can learn about investing and I'm also giving away an Apple iPad uh, to whoever wins so, uh, so we'll see how that goes all right <laughs> incentives for good investing thank you so much thanks for coming in thanks for, having us. thanks for having us and again if you'd like to play Rob's March Money Madness contest sign up today you'll find that link at kdka.com slash PTL and thanks to Rob today for bringing his special guest Super Bowl champion Darnell Dinkins of the New Orleans Saints and remember to watch for Rob on Money Mondays here on Pittsburgh Today Live.